Hello everybody, um, we're here to present the Pro Football Writers Association Joe Green Outstanding Rookie of the Year Award. It goes to Najee Harris, Najee, Najee Harris, my fault, I even wrote that down, Najee. Uh, Najee had one of the uh, stellar rookie years of uh, all sealers since this award has been uh, presented. He uh, has the 296 yards rushing attempts, 1,172 yards rushing, 10 total touches, touchdowns, leads the league in touches, and uh, he's believe he's now the fourth running back in the history of the Joe Green Great Performance Award. So uh, the Rookie of the Year goes to Najee Harris. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you for the introduction. Amazing. Oh, I'm supposed to say something? Oh, shoot. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Really. Thank you uh, to the line and thank you to the coaches. Has this season for you individually met your expectations, exceeded them? Did you have any coming in? Yeah, I got, I, like I, I, I got that question asked before. Um, you know, of course, I think every rookie has expectations coming in, but you know, the way the year planned out and the way um, I, I just viewed everything of how young our team was, you know, I, and I think Ben even said something earlier saying, you know, we're kind of young, we're going to start struggling a little bit. But um, so I guess some of those um, goals kind of, it was more so much to just shift it towards like how can we improve more of a team um, and uh, getting some of the, I keep saying the, the young guys if like I'm not one, but like, you know, getting all the other rookies, me just trying to get all the other rookies going. Um, so I think that the my goals kind of shifted more to how to help the team more um, and to be, you know, improve better each game. So, um, yeah. Speaking of a question you've probably been asked before, but you're at week 17 now, and you're getting stronger. Rookies aren't supposed to do that, historically. Yeah, Mike just came to me and said the same thing. Yeah. I'm saying it. I mean, how, how, how have you been able to do that? A lot of people say it's taking care of your body, learning how to. Yeah. It seems like you're past that. Yeah, man. I'm telling you, man, taking care of your body plays a big part, especially, like, you know, me going in knowing that, you know, just preparing for, uh, like, a, a heavy workload, you know, even if I didn't have it, you know, I prepared as if, like, I was going to have a heavy, heavy workload. Um, but, you know, just, just, just really taking care of the body is, 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 is important. Um, so I'm actually reading a book called The Five Rings by Miyamoto Musashi. It's a great warrior. But he talks about how, um, how taking care of the body is really important for a warrior. Um, and I think that really, that really is true and, um, and just in life. So, I mean, I think that was one way that helped um, out a lot. How did you find that book? Uh, I, I, I like I, every now and then just look at a lot of quotes and stuff. And um, I think Miyamoto Musashi, a lot of his quotes popped up. So um, I got to know more about him and I saw he got a book called, he writes a lot of books. Um, so I think one of the coaches, oh yeah, one of the coaches here gave me the book, uh, actually gave me the book. I saw him give the books to the other quarterbacks. I was like, no way. You got the, you got, you gave them, them uh, the quarterbacks of books like that? He's like, yeah, man. I was like, man, I, I was looking for that book because I read this other book. Um, I forgot what that one's called, but uh, but yeah, and then I saw him give it to him. I was like, man, hey, if you got an extra one laying around, give me that, and he gave me one. I appreciate that. They don't usually give out books to the running back room too. You said what? They don't usually give out the same books to the running back room. No, it was a uh, the, the quarterback coach gave it to me. Yeah, it was it was just a quarterback thing for Christmas, and I just saw what they gave him. I was like, oh, that's dope. Now, you <laughs> mentioned last week when you were changing your goals to become more focused on helping your other teammates and more team-oriented stuff. You, you mentioned kind of acting like a captain. Do you aspire to be a captain someday? Uh, you know, if, if the team wants that, then sure. But, uh, like, I guess everybody in, in, in some way should be a, to feel like they're a captain. Um, if if you just want to improve everybody and um, just get better as a as a team and as a person, you know, you should always tell somebody, you know, if they're doing something wrong, you should tell them. If they're doing something right, you should pat them on the back. But, I mean, like, you know, me up there, I'm not really the person to go up to the front and cheer everybody on. I guess I'm not that type of captain. I think there's all types of different captains. That was a question that they asked me actually uh, coming in, is if I see myself as a captain. I said, yeah, I can see myself as a captain, but I'm not the captain that stands in front and, um, and cheers everybody on and yells and stuff like that. I'm, I'm kind of the captain that leads, you know, uh, by, like, the way you perform on the field. Or I'm a captain that, like, you know, um, you could come talk to me. And, uh, you know, if you feel like, you know, your opinions or anything isn't being heard, uh, I guess a leader from the back, I guess, in a way. But 
also in the front. I mean, um, it's kind of difficult to explain, but I guess so, yeah. You know what I mean? If it, if, if it presented that way, then I ain't going to say no to it. Was that a pre-draft question? That was a pre-draft question, yes, sir, it was. A lot of teams ask me that. Um, a lot, I can't think of the teams, but I got that question asked a lot, actually. When do you know you're going to step up? When do I know? Is that an open field thing? Or does it have to yeah, I mean, um, like I said, like, so uh, the stiff arm, I mean, it could, it could happen a lot of ways, but the open field stiff arms that I've been doing, um, I try to get them to stop their feet, you know what I mean? So they have no momentum or anything. They're kind of just like in the ground. So, like, so eventually, like, it, it's just tactics to work, you know what I mean? Just me just thinking too damn much at home. Yeah, he does. Uh, he talked to me a lot, actually. Um, beginning of the year um, and now, um, he talked. To, he said a lot last game. But you know, anytime that you guys see him on the sideline, that's some stuff he's telling me. At practice, he tell me that stuff too. Um, just a lot of a lot of times, he's telling me um, that you know you gotta you know we're gonna need you right here. Um, you know, uh, I guess just 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 impose your will on them. You know, stuff like that. So yeah, he has told me a lot of times. Yeah, it's an honor, of course. I'm mean, just somebody like that, and the reputation he has, and just the his um, you know, just him as a player, and like you say, he's gonna be a future Hall of Famer. So somebody to come to me like that and tell me, you know, kind of like this is how, you know, uh, you can impact the team, impact the game, and doing this and help out everybody, um, reach their you know their goals, and the team reach their goals. Um, so that's pretty good. I want me to stop or not? Nah? Y'all can hear it. Okay. Vince said he also told you that this city loves running backs and it loves defense. Is that something that you remember him telling you? And does that add a pressure or responsibility going forward? Response. Pressure? You keep saying pressure. No, but um, I mean, I used to watch those games, and I, I know of myself of how the running back is. You know, Drone Bettis, Franco, and all the other guys, even Le'Veon, um, um, they had James. You know, there's a, a long list of great running backs, you know what I mean, who came through this to this uh, organization. So, I mean, I know how important the running back position is. Um, and, you know, obviously Ben told me some of that stuff too, to solidify it. But yeah, you know, um, there's no pressure though. You know, I don't, I ain't trying to go on a rant about pressure again, but you know, I think that's an overrated thing. Um, but, you know, if I come in here and keep performing, you know, win or lose, you know I mean? I'm trying to get my best at all, uh, every game, every, every time I touch it, you know? So uh, that's just how my mentality is, I guess. Yeah, that's a good question. So, yeah, I think so. But I think, you know, um, it's going to take just more in me or TJ. If, if we want to ultimately reach the what, what we are set out to reach, um, you know, obviously TJ on the defensive side, you know, they got they got a lot of veterans over there. You know, they got are, are just guys who played more than just a year or two. You know, you got Minka, you got Cam, you know what I mean? You got Joe Money. You got, you got a lot of guys, you know what I mean? So, um, you know, the identity is kind of like, you know, they, they're, they're – it's kind of almost established already on defense. They know what they got to do. You know, they have a good bond. On the other side, you know, obviously, you know, seven, seven, this might be seven's last season. So, and then we're really young at that. So it's kind of a, of, of somebody, you know, got to step in there. And it could be me, you know what I mean? Somebody got to step in and really just show the identity of what the team is and, and you know, be that, be that, you know, the, the Steelers, uh, what's the, what is that you guys call it? The Steel Curtain thing? What do you guys call it? I forgot. Yeah, just the, uh, just how it is to be a stiller here, you know. Um, you know, I'm I'm willing to be that person, but also, you know, uh, need some guys with me. You know, we got Deontay, Chase, Pat, KG. You know, we got a whole young team to uh, to back me up, and not only to back me up, but you know, I'm I'm backing up all of them. Um, so, you know, the fu- you know the future of this organization. You know, I'm I'm really excited to see where where we're headed because of of so much tools we got and so many young pieces that we have. Um, we could do something great. We just gotta. We just gotta get in the film room. We gotta spend more time with each other. We gotta build a better bond. We gotta know each other more. And uh, that's gonna be a big thing, a big challenge for me. You know what I mean? I feel like. Did you see, did you see the offensive line doing anything different, blocking in a different way for you this last game than maybe previous? Um, have I, you said, did I see a difference? Yeah. 
Um, I mean, yeah, of course I've seen a difference. Um, you know, they, they play with a lot more energy. Um, but, you know, it's not like they haven't been playing with energy. You know I mean? It's just that, you know, um, they just executed. I think that it really, like I said, it comes down to a lot of execution. I think they executed us as a as a team in the run game that, that, that time, really executed a lot. You know, me on my part, you know, I didn't do a lot of guessing. I was hitting a lot of stuff downhill, um, pressing a lot more, you know I mean, trying to get backers to overplay gaps and stuff like that. And, um, you know, the, the O-line really did their job and took firing off the ball and giving up to working on the backers you know what I mean, really making movement and push on short distances and stuff like that. So um, I think this was just the execution and our game plan really um, came out there and performed.